All right, here's homework 12.2, question number two. We're doing the uh, iterated integral uh, from zero to one and then from two X to two of X minus Y dy dx. So we'll proceed like we normally do with the inner integral first, which we really don't have a choice because you'll notice the inner integrals, limits of integration contain an X. So we must do the dy first. All right, so let's start with the inner integral. This is pretty straightforward. All right, so we're gonna integrate X minus Y dy, which means we're treating the x like a constant. The antiderivative of x is x times y. But the antiderivative of minus y is minus 1 half y squared. And this is being evaluated from y equals 2x to y equals 2. So if we substitute the 2 for the y, we'll get 2x minus 1 half of 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, half of that is 2. So the antiderivative evaluated at y equals two simplifies to two x minus two. And on the lower limit of integration, when we substitute y equals two x, we'll get something a little bit more substantial. When we substitute the y for two x and x times y, we get x times two x, which is two x squared. And then the second part of it, the minus one half y squared, we got to proceed a little bit more cautiously. Uh, when we square two x, we get four x squared. And then half of 4x squared is 2x squared. Really? Those end up canceling out? Let's make sure we did that correctly. When we put 2x here for the y, we get 2x squared. And when we put 2x here for the y, we square the 2 and the x, get 4x squared, take half of that as 2x squared. Yep. Looks like the, uh, the antiderivative evaluated at the lower limit zeroes out. So we're left with 2x minus 2. But we're not done. That's just the value of the inner integral. Now we just have to evaluate that from uh, the, in the integral of that from 0 to 1. All right, so integral from 0 to 1. This is baby calculus one question now. All right. Um, yes, we're still recording. All right, antiderivative of 2x minus 2 is just x squared minus 2x. We're evaluating that from 0 to 1. When we substitute 1, we get 1 squared is 1. Minus 2 times 1 is 2. And then when we substitute 0, we just get 0 minus 0. So it looks like this equals negative 1. Unless something went absolutely catastrophically wrong. We didn't, and if it did, I'm sure you will let me know soon.